Well, hello everybody. This is Green Bean from RV Theming, and I am here to talk to you about a wonderful little find up in the Pacific Northwest called Enchanted Forest. Now, this place, this is the entrance to this place, but I want to really tell you what's going on here. This is a family-owned theme park, still owned by the family that opened it years ago and predominantly built by one man. You can see his name in that blue tile right there, Mr. Roger Toft, who ended up having to rebuild Humpty Dumpty there because some teenagers knocked him over. But this is pretty much a kiddie park in large part, but there are reasons why we are there, which I'll get to shortly. Now, because COVID, as you can see here, some of these slides and stuff were closed. Uh, and there were some restrictions, as is pretty standard these days, but we only had a three-hour block. That's how they were doing it during this time. Uh, you only had three hours, and you had to make a reservation and such. But look at this place. This is about as easy of a place to slide into your imagination as I've ever seen outside of Disney, let's say. But look at this little display here. This is the witch's mouth, and you walk in the witch's mouth, and you slide down her hair. This is the exact moment that we fell in love with this place. It's almost like a, a weird portal into your childhood. And I'll let you listen to what's going on here at the bottom of the slide. And just like that, child. Watch the other two adults we had with us coming down the slide. Wee! And here comes my wife. Here she comes as a child. Yay, look at that. So, and you'll see in a moment, my 12-year-old son, right after that slide, turns around and high-fives me at a kiddie park. Now, that's when you know things are, are looking pretty good. Now, they do all their own animatronics, all their own voices, and I'll let you hear an example of that. This is the three bears. Recording in the bedroom and see if somebody's there. And there she, there is. she is. She's still in my bed. Oh man. Freeloader me. So this place, as I said earlier, is just magically gorgeous. It is up on a uh, on an Oregon hill, and look, they had some uh, some issues with the specific. Uh, intellectual property rights so Snow White as you can see there looks a little different look at the seven dwarves we have Smiley and Lumpy and Krabby and all those kinds of names very similar but mm, different and uh, so as you walk through the place the whole first half is is made up of these displays very very well done again built by this family uh, you can see the old lady who lives in a shoe that slide like some others was closed and this is pretty much the end of that storybook land and then it breaks off into Toftville which is a western town uh, and I'm gonna let you listen to the welcome that they give you in western town with music that they wrote themselves Delightful, but now we're gonna get to the real reason that I'm even at this park. Now this place has two credits. Now you're looking at a log flume. How is that a coaster credit? But let me just tell you, this is the only log flume in the world that breaks off from its log flume and has a coaster element. And I'm gonna give you the full point of view uh, video here, but I want you to know as you get on there, the ride is called the Big Timber Mountain Log Ride. Big Timber Mountain Log Ride. And it's just like any other log flume. Um, really beautiful scenery. It goes up an actual mountain. You know, a lot of log flumes are just kind of in the middle of a parking lot or whatever. This one uses the scenery very, very well. It uses its, uh, you know, the land around it perfectly. And um, like I said, it's really well done theming, but there's a little surprise coming up in the near future that is one of the reasons that brought me to this park. You know, this is about an hour and a half south of Portland, Oregon. So it's not just a, you know, an easy skip to get there, but there's a good reason to get there. These are two of the most obscure credits uh, that you can hope to find. Now, as I said, uh, I was on this ride and, this, and the theming is gorgeous, but my camera, my car died right at this moment, right here coming up. I had no idea. I filmed the rest of the ride. 
but my SD card died. So I am going to show you some footage from a man named David Jealous, who was kind enough to allow me to use his film uh, from the same ride uh, for this video. So David Jealous will get full credit, and I'm going to allow you to watch the rest of this point of view without my bantering. There we go. Credit David Jealous. Enjoy the ride. So thanks again to David Jealous for letting me use that film. What a great log flume that is. Did you see that coaster part there? Wonderful, wonderful ride. Really, really fun too. Now here is the second, and in my opinion, the most important credit that I needed to get there. This is Ice Mountain Bobsled. I'll let you see a couple off-ride shots of what we're looking at, but this is quite literally a one-of-a-kind coaster. It was built by a manufacturer that slips my mind currently, but they've only built one coaster and was designed in part by guess who? Roger Toft again. He designed this coaster. So it's really weird. There are no seatbelts. You get in this cabin, this little cart, and they close the ceiling on you. It's got those air holes in there. And you just ride this ride. Now we're going to let you enjoy this point of view so you can experience Ice Mountain bobsled. Don't miss the Yeti right there on your right. Wait a second, did you see how close you are to that wall? Look at this, you are no more than two inches. Whoa! And you get an amazing pop of horizontal airtime there, which is incredibly enjoyable. Enjoy the rest of the ride, and we'll talk about it at the end. So as we hit the second lift hill, we're going to do this last little pop. I want you to watch the head chopper here. You're maybe two or three inches away from the top of that thing. Now this ride, it looks small, it looks kind of corny, it looks uh, ragamuffin, but this is about as fun of a little ride as you're going to find anywhere. And again, it's one of a kind, which is just so great to be able to do that. This park is so incredible, so well done. Roger Toft still walks around or rides around on a little moped and still patches concrete and stuff by himself. He's still there and it's run by his family. I have to tell you that if you get the opportunity uh, to be anywhere near this park in the Portland area, I highly recommend uh, heading over there. And as we close, I'm gonna let you listen to this little animatronic where they wrote the music and did all the voices of the blackbirds in a pie. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Again, that was Enchanted Forest up in Salem, Oregon. If you get the opportunity to be anywhere near this place, get on over there. It's a wonderful experience. The kids will love it. The adults will love it. And I was happy to be there myself. Thanks for watching, everybody.